कर्व ऑफ स्टेटिकल स्टेबिलिटी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज जी जेड कर्व एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली ग्राफिकल रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ शिप्स ट्रांसवर्स स्टेटिकल स्टेबिलिटी द ट्रांसवर्स स्टेटिकल स्टेबिलिटी इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ शिप टू रिटर्न टू अ प्राइट when she is inclined by external forces like wind or waves it is called heeling of the ship so here suppose this is the vessel and we look in the transverse direction that is port side and starboard side direction or earthward ship direction and we have this external factor like wind or waves and the ship inclines like this however she is able to come back to the upright condition so that is the study we have to do in transverse statical stability however there are some assumptions and this assumption is that the ship is floating in still water we can understand here that this is the water line and this water line is a straight line that's why the ship is floating in a still water and the water line is represented as a straight line now let us consider this vessel in transverse direction or earthward ship direction this is a, a center line this is a g that is center of gravity and the weight of the ship acts vertically downward from center of gravity well this is a water line well the geometrical center of underwater volume which is this one this is a underwater volume and the geometrical center of underwater volume is center of buoyancy and the force of buoyancy acts vertically upward like this however now the vessel is inclined or heeled by some external force so the center of buoyancy has shifted from this position from b to b1 and we have this new force of buoyancy so from g we can make a perpendicular here which is called a gz this is a horizontal line and this is called righting lever if we make the graph like this this is angle of heel in degree and the gz in meter so at this position we have this a gz now the vessel heels further if the vessel heels further the underwater volume will increase like this so the center of buoyancy shifts from b1 to b2 that means the gz will also increase so here the gz has increased like this however if the vessel heels further more than previous case the underwater volume on other side starts increasing so from b2 we have center of buoyancy at b3 that means the gz has started decreasing or has started reducing now if if the vessel heels further at this position so here the b4 that is center of buoyancy has come directly below g so the gz is a zero here if the vessel heels further we'll see that the center of buoyancy is shifted from right hand side to left hand side and we have another lever which is trying to capsize the ship so this is called capsizing lever we have negative gz which is indicated from this diagram let me uh, just run through this again uh, just to make quick understanding like this it is increasing then it goes to maximum value 
after that it starts decreasing and then it becomes negative so we can say that as a ship heals over gz increases to some maximum value and then decreases so at some angle of heel it becomes negative and we can say that uh, writing lever has become capsizing lever here the writing lever is in a positive direction that means the writing lever is negative actually it is not writing lever rather it is capsizing lever and this lever is trying to capsize the ship so this is an example here we are having this gz curve and greater the value of gz greater area is under the curve minimum standards and specific requirements regarding the gz curve and the area under the curves are given in code on intact stability this is uh, by imo and these requirements are incorporated in government legislation of most countries that has adopted imo convention